this is a construction of genomic DNA library. Now, what are the differences between a genomic DNA library and a cDNA library? Now, you can see here, uh, if this is the genome of an organism, so this is the genomic DNA, it must have the promoter sequence, it must have the introns, which are uh, not necessary, which are junk materials, and obviously it is having the exons, which are, trans, uh, which are providing them the translatable uh, segments of uh, the mRNA, and also, so say this is the gene 1, which is having small sections of exons and introns, and gene 2 which is obviously having introns and exons uh, together so after uh, utilization of uh, the transcription process and uh, post transcriptional modifications this introns will be cut out and only the exons are joined with each other to produce a fully functional mature rna mature mrna which must have a 5 prime capping and also 3 prime a 3 prime polyadenylation right and we have started our journey in cDNA library production with this kind of polyadenylated mRNA and we utilize oligo DT to synthesize the first uh, single stranded uh, reverse transcript uh, utilizing reverse transcriptors we, uh, we developed first single stranded cDNA and so on but in this case what we are seeing we are just taking uh, the fragments of this genomic DNA so we just cut our genomic DNA from different segments like that so that we get in one uh, part of our uh, desired vector we get uh, attached with gene 1 in another part we attach gene 2 along with this introns and exons both but in cDNA libraries we get only the exonic parts only the desired parts so in genomic library there are promoters introns and in intergenic sequences but in cDNA libraries, there are only expressible genes. Transcription stars, start sites are there. And obviously, there are open reading frames. So, there are no distance between uh, the exons via the intron. So, there are no intron present in cDNA library. But there are introns present in genomic library. Okay. And also, splice points are present in cDNA library because we are dealing with the mRNA sequence. So, these things must be there in cDNA. And uh, genomic DNA... Uh, does not have any splice points and all these things but it is having the junk materials or introns and also it is having the promoters in both the cases sometimes we require genomic DNA library sometimes we require uh, the mRNA library now in most of the cases of eukaryotic system we uh, can rely upon uh, this uh, cDNA library most of the times but in prokaryotic systems we cannot make cDNA libraries because the prokaryotic mRNA are very very less stable and this kind of post translational modifications is not seen also in case of prokaryotic mRNA so in most of the cases of prokaryotic mRNA uh, prokaryotic system we rely on this genome